Beric DIY here with another great review for you. It's springtime, turning into summer, and even though we're in the midst of this whole thing here, we're going to review the Uponon Solar Outdoor Indoor Floodlights. So I've tested these lights for quite a while now. It's been about a month since I put them out because I really wanted to test the quality. They're supposed to be waterproof, IP67 and everything. And honestly, they have held up to all the conditions they've been put under so far. It consists of two main floodlights which connect with really long waterproof cables to the solar panel. In each floodlight, you have a very long lasting lithium ion battery. As far as setting these up, it's really easy. You have two floodlights. They come out with a DC out basically which plugs into this waterproof connector right there you put them where you want you can totally mount them on the back which I'll show you in a second and you can also mount the solar panel however I have these in my front dry bed so I'm just kind of leaving them here to eliminate the front of the house and it comes with a remote control to program it we also have some specs here the solar panel is a six volt six watt polycrystalline silicon solar panel uh, the batteries in each of the floodlights is 3.7 volts 2200 milliamp hours there's 60 leds in each lamp it's a cool white color and it's waterproof with an ip67 rating it comes with a remote control which controls the lighting we'll go over that in a second lighting time with 100 percent power because they are dimmable 100 percent power gives you about six to eight hours on a full charge and if you want to dim that 50% it gives you about 10 to 12 hours uh, you could control it within 20 meters about 65.62 feet with the remote control and in each LED floodlight you can see that has a red light flashing that that's when you know it's charging with the solar panel you can have it auto power on and off with the on and off switches you could also dim it so here's the dimming of the LEDs big range of dimming by the way with the LEDs and we'll check this out at night just as well. Here's half dimming on the side here, full. So you have 50% and 100%. When it comes to programming this thing, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna turn it on by pushing on. And then you could set the timer. This auto button is just for auto dimness. What it does is it automatically dims them down as the battery is wasting. So that way you can get the maximum longevity. Uh, if you wanna set for eight hour timer, put on eight and it flashes once and it's gonna stay on for eight hours. After you do that, these will turn on automatically with night mode. They basically have little sensors in each floodlight and they'll turn on as it gets dark and stay on for eight hours. So they work really, really well. I've had no problems with that at all. I do not have these mounted, but these are excellent for mounting. If you wanna light up an area, secure your light in your house or whatever, they come off mounting screws and everything you need, wall anchors and everything to put them in. They mount just by putting the screws through the holes and then you can move it up and down to whatever angle you need. Excellent for pools and security lights, like I said, mounting on your house if you want front porch lights. I use them to light up my dry bed at night, so it makes the house look really nice. Solar panel is also mountable with these holes, so you can screw that in to wherever you need to. Most solar panels, you want them to face south, so that way you get the maximum amount of sun. And this itself is just a solar panel. The batteries, again, are installed inside the floodlights. Everything's mountable to wherever you want to put it. Again, it's excellent for many things. And even though I'm using them for a dry bed right now, I would definitely not hesitate to buy these to mount on my house or a pool area or something like that. Now, I left the cord exposed that goes between the flow light and the solar can to show you how long this thing really is. You have a good, I would say, eight to 10 feet of line right there. All right, it's evening here, and we're gonna turn these lights on. I got the remote right here. I'm gonna push on on that one, and on on that one. And then we're gonna set it for an eight hour timer on each. So, there you go. It'll be on for eight hours, and then turn off. And if we back up, you can kind of see, however the GoPro doesn't do an awesome job on night lighting. You can see that lights up just the front with the bushes and everything, and as, uh, things fill in, it'll look even better. They've been through rain uh, and everything else. They still fire up just fine and they charge just fine. So overall, they're excellent to have for floodlights. And again, you can mount these wherever you need to. I use them for landscape lighting, but you can mount them, let's say, to the top of the house right there and have security lighting on your house. It's just that I have ring Security cameras have lights in them, so I'm fine there. So I wanted to light up the landscaping. Overall, the Yupanun Solar Outdoor Indoor Floodlights are really good buy, really durable, built very well, and work great. Cons, I have to be honest with you, the only con, and it's 
very very small again is that the remote you have to get used to using it and you have to come out here and manually set the eight hours a night but after that it's set it and forget it the color is nice and pleasing to the eyes and the solar panel charging does great. If you'd like to purchase the Yupanon solar, outdoor, indoor floodlights, please look for a link in the description below. We'll say to Amazon, you can purchase your very own. Every purchase will help support the Earth DIY channel. We appreciate all your support. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, please give us a thumbs up and push that subscribe button below. While you're down there, also push on the bell notification icon so that we'll be notified of future Eric DIY video releases. We appreciate all your support. Thank you and have a great night. As always, if you like this video, found it useful, please subscribe. And if you have a product that you would like reviewed, please contact Eric by emailing him at eric5150diy at gmail.com. Have a great day.